Hi, my name is John Paul and I run the blog PaymentDoor.com. In this video, we will look at the four corner model in payment systems. The four corner model comes from open loop models. We will see how and why it is such a powerful model to study and analyze payment systems and instruments. Then we will look at few examples of four corner models so that you can see how simple and powerful that model is. The four corner model is fundamental, so please listen carefully to the rest of the presentation. In the first video about open loop models, we saw this slide on the anatomy of payment systems. It shows what the main parts of payment systems are and how the whole system is made up. I encourage you to watch the video about open loop models if you haven't done it yet. Now, look at this picture carefully and let's do a simple exercise. Let's remove all the interbank systems except one. Let's also remove all banks except two banks. And for each bank, we will keep the end party that is connected to it. What will the end result look like? It will look like this. We see two banks on the picture. Each bank is connected to the interbank system two and to the central bank system. Each bank is also connected to an end party. Banks have been renamed bank one and bank A. This is to ease the understanding of what is presented in the next slides. The result is exactly the same. Interbank system two may be used for the exchange of messages related to one or many payment instruments, as we saw in the video about open loop systems. And we keep it because we are interested in payment messages exchanged through that interbank system. Now, we will try to make this model look a bit more beautiful. After asking an artist to help me on that, I got the result that is on the next slide. Well, this is just the previous picture presented in a different way. The content of this picture is exactly the same as the previous one. We still see that each bank is connected to an end party. Both bank one and bank A are connected to interbank system two and to the central bank system. We have put the interbank system two and the central bank system in one box that we call CSM. CSM stands for clearing and settlement mechanism. This abstraction is really useful because in general, we study one payment instrument at a time. So we do not need to see all interbank systems on the picture. It is enough if we have the interbank system for the payment instrument that we are studying. This simple and powerful model can be used to analyze message exchanges between bank and customer and among banks. So almost any situation that we will encounter. And now, we realize something very important. The four corner model is nothing but a simplified open loop model. So every time we see a four corner model, we should immediately think of open loop models and vice versa. Now we will see a few examples to show that the four corner model is really the Swiss knife to analyze any payment instrument. The four corner model is fundamental. In payments, if you want to build your house on the rock, on strong foundations, then you should study and analyze the four corner model. Let's consider a few examples now. The first example is the four corner model for the SEPA credit transfer. As you can see, the end party one becomes originator. The bank one becomes the originator bank. The end party A becomes the beneficiary and the bank A becomes the beneficiary bank. Both originator bank and beneficiary bank are interconnected through the CSM systems. Clearing mechanism is 
implemented by the clearing systems. As examples of systems, we have Core in France, uh, Equins in the Netherlands, EBA Step 2, the Pan European Automated Clearing House, the retail payment systems in Germany, and so on. There is a list available on the EPC website for all systems implementing clearing mechanisms in SEPA area. Settlement mechanism is implemented by settlement system. In the SEPA area, there is only one settlement system for the SEPA credit transfer, and that is Target 2, that is operated by the European Central Bank. Let's move to the next example. This is the four corner model for the SEPA direct debits. As you see, the end party one becomes debtor, the bank one is the debtor bank, the end party A is the creditor and the bank A is the creditor bank. And both banks are interconnected again through the clearing and settlement mechanism systems. Clearing systems are almost the same that we previously mentioned. Core, Equins, EBS Step 2, IPS in Germany, uh, Iver, Pay in Spain, and so on. Settlement mechanism is implemented by settlement systems again and in the separate area we know there's only one it is target two that is operated by the european central bank let's move to another example this is the four corner model for car payments that's pretty interesting the end party one is the car holder the bank one is the issuer or the issuing bank the end party A is the merchant, also called acceptor. The bank A is the acquirer, which is in general the merchant's bank. Issuer and acquirer are interconnected through the CSM. CSM can be systems like Visa, MasterCard, China Union Pay, core in France, APS in Germany, and so on. For the settlement systems, of course, it depends on the currency where the transaction should be settled. In USD, it's fed why in the USA. In China, we have the high value payment system in renminbi. Then in the separate area, target two, to which France and Germany belong. And finally, let's move to the next example, the four corner model for check payments. Here again, we see the end party one is the drawer, the bank one is the drawee or pay of the check, the end party is the payee or beneficiary of the check, the bank A is the pay bank or beneficiary bank. Again, drawers bank and pays bank are interconnected through the clearing and settlement mechanism. Clearing systems are, for example, core in France, APS in Germany, or the ACH in the US, image clearing system in the UK. The settlement systems are fed wide in the USA for the settlement in dollar, target two in SEPA for the settlement in Euro, CHAPS LTGS in the UK for the settlement in pounds. So every time we have four actors, four main players, we have a bank with its customer, another bank with its customer, and both banks are interconnected through the clearing and settlement mechanism. That is the four corner model. And it's a very powerful tool. I hope you see now why I say that the four corner model is really the Swiss knife in payments. It's really the place to start when you begin with a new payment instrument. This ends this presentation about the four corner model.
Please like the video if you find it useful. The next video will be about clearing. What is clearing and how does it work? I will finish this video with few resources you should check out if you really want to deepen the topics of payment systems. These are books that I have read myself and that I think are worth reading if you want to learn more about payment systems. I've provided my affiliate links below the video. Thanks for following this video. If you found it interesting and useful, then please like the video and subscribe to the channel. The next video will be about clearing, as I said. Go to the blog and subscribe to the newsletter to get the latest information about articles and video. Thanks again and see you soon.